Now at five, from Bangladesh to Indiana, police say it's been a long time coming getting an international fugitive back to this state. Good evening. The case of a 1989 murder in the small town of Hamilton was cold for more than 20 years. Now officials are speaking out about how they got the suspect extradited back to our area. News Channel 15's Adam Widener spoke with police involved in the case. He joins us now from our newsroom with the latest. Well, it was big news a couple years ago when Mafuz Huck was arrested overseas. It took two and a half years for him to be extradited back to Indiana in a case unlike anything local police have seen. This is the first international extradition case I've ever had. 24 years ago, almost to the day, police think Mafuz Huck stabbed Todd Kelly in the back in a Hamilton, Indiana home. Officials think they may have been interested in the same woman. To say that case was cold would be an understatement. And this case has been since 1989. That changed in 2005 with state police detective and Steuben County native Kevin Smith. In 2005, I picked it up as a fugitive case and started working on it then. We felt like uh, that he was probably in another country. After three attempts, Smith got a hold of U.S. Diplomatic Security Services in Bangladesh, Hook's native country. They found him under an alias, but had to just watch him since he couldn't be extradited from Bangladesh. He eventually flew to India, where police arrested him in 2011. So why did it take two and a half years to get him back to the U.S.? We don't follow the same legal system that India does, so it was kind of interesting. We had to wait on them and follow the rules that they have. They're maybe a little different than ours. Police say Hook was flown from India to Newark, New Jersey, and from there to Indianapolis. He's currently in Marion County going through medical evaluations, but will soon be under Sheriff Tim Troyer's jurisdiction in the Steuben County Jail. I know that the family has been in long wait uh, for, for this apprehension, for this to take its, take its place and to have their day in court. Now, Huck could be in the Steuben County Jail as soon as the end of the week. He'll have his initial hearing soon after that. In the meantime, Steuben County prosecutors are preparing evidence and testimonies from 1989 in what is sure to be a very unique trial. Live in the newsroom, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.